everyone, I'm Bria Bone, your Austin, Texas real estate agent with the Bone team. In this video, I'm going to pretend to be a tourist for the weekend and show y'all what it's like to live in Austin, Texas. So let's jump right in. So for my very first activity on day one, I walked the trail around Town Lake. So the official name of the trail is like the hike and bike trail. I'll put the name up here because I can't quite remember it. And then the official name of Town Lake is actually Ladybird Lake. However, it used to be called Town Lake, so most locals still refer to it as that. So there are several bridges that cross the water, so you can do different loops. Um, there's a three mile loop, a six mile loop, and then a longer one. And I did the six mile loop. So I parked underneath Mopac, which is where I usually park. And then I walked east to south first, and then I crossed over and then I walked back and stopped at Juiceland. Um, that's the route I usually take because I like to stop at Juiceland at the very ending. While walking the loop, I did stop at my favorite spot in Austin. It's called the Lou Neff Point, and it's just a lookout spot on the trail that overlooks Town Lake and downtown Austin. Sometimes I'll come here with like a juice or some food item and just sit and watch people kayaking and paddleboarding on Town Lake. There's actually a shortcut from um, Zilker Park, which is right above, where you can just walk straight down so you don't have to walk the actual trail to get to this lookout point. You can just walk straight down. Um, so that's what I usually do. So there are several areas along the trail that you can stop and hang out at. So the first one is Zilker Park, which runs alongside part of the trail and it's actually close to underneath Mopac where I parked. So this is the main park in the city. I love going there and I highly recommend going if you just wanna walk around or if you wanna bring a picnic and uh, hang out there. That's what I usually do. Um, one thing to note, there are a lot of dogs running around off leash. Occasionally there will be a troublemaker dog, um, however for the most part it's pretty good and you can always just go to a more private area if that's what you would rather do. And then I also walked to the free side of Barton Springs. So the actual pool Barton Springs costs money to go to, but there is a little like free side. Um, I think someone named it Barking Springs a few years ago because that's where people will bring their dogs to swim. So the locals just refer to it as the free side. Um, so if you're here during the summer, I would recommend actually going into Barton Springs, but there are some rules like you can't bring food and drinks other than water. Um, you can't bring dogs and it does cost money and then some other little things like you can't play music things like that Which is why some people go to the free side and then I did stop at Auditorium Shores, which also runs alongside part of the trail um, I thought there was an off-leash dog park there, but I did see signs that leashes are required However, I did see some people with their dogs off leashes. So if you want to be safe, I would keep your dogs on leash. But like I said, there were people with their dogs off leash. And then like I said earlier, I did stop at Juiceland at the very ending and got a juice and a shot. I'm blanking on the juice name. I will insert it here when I remember. Um, and then the shot was the doctor doctor shot. So the next activity I did was go to South Congress. So if you Google like what to do in Austin, this will probably be number one on the list. Um, that being said, I wouldn't say it's like a touristy area. Like I went there recently with my friend Taylor and we got um, pizza at Home Slice and then we walked around. So it's definitely, it's like tourists do go there, but it's not super touristy and that no locals go there. As far as like touristy areas in Austin, I wouldn't really say there are any specific ones. Um, places that tourists go, locals still go. I think part of it is because Austin has like just really recently been like discovered and started like getting a lot of tourists in the last like five years, maybe seven. Um, so it hasn't really like switched over to where there are like touristy and then local areas um which is like one thing that's nice because you get a kind of mix of people when you're out and about um, as a local and then if you're visiting as well so i mainly just walked up and down south congress and then went into some of the stores i did stop at joe's for a coffee drink and then i also stopped at home slice for pizza and then i ended up just going home for dinner however if you do want to go out the number one spot that I recommend to eat is Uchi or Uchiko. 
Uchi is located in um, South Central Austin, and then Uchiko is located in North Central Austin, so just depending on um, where you're staying and which place you can get into, um, they have a somewhat similar menu, um, and it's sushi. So even if you don't like sushi, I highly recommend going. It's the best sushi I've ever had, and the quality is so high that like even if you don't like sushi, I feel like you would like this food. And they do have a few items on the menu that are cooked and aren't uh, fish. So if you absolutely don't want fish or raw food, you can just kind of pick around that. However, even if you think you don't like sushi, I recommend going because I think this place would change your mind. And then also if you're able to and you want to go out for like drinks after dinner, um, I recommend the Rainy Street area. That's my favorite spot to go out for drinks in Austin. I actually don't drink anymore, but that was my favorite spot. So the main areas you can go out are Dirty 6th, West 6th, the Domain area, the Gay Bars on 4th Street, Rainy Street, and then East 6th Street. Um, Dirty 6th is kind of like the touristy spot and then college kids also go there. And then West 6th and the Domain are a slightly older crowd, probably like millennials or like the older millennials. And then there are the Gay Bars on 4th Street, which are fun to go to even if you don't fall into that group of people. And then Rainy Street is super cool. It is a just one street of um, old houses that were converted to the bars. And then East 6 is a more like alternative crowd, like people who wear all black and have tattoos, um, which was also one of my other favorite spots to go. So if you could only go to one of those, I would recommend Rainy Street. So on day two, I started my day by going to Blenders and Bowls, which has uh, smoothies and acai bowls. If you can't already tell, I'm not a huge breakfast person, and I generally like something uh, light and healthy. However, um, if you're wanting to sit down and have like a full breakfast, I recommend Magnolia Cafe or Kirby Lane Cafe. Um, those are both great little diner spots, um, not too expensive, and the food is really awesome. I ended up eating in my car because of everything that's going on right now, but their um, little shop is pretty cute. And then I went to Zilker Botanical Garden, which cost $6. Um, if you had to skip one thing that I did, I would skip this. Um, it's not a garden in the sense that there's like pretty rose bushes and flowers and stuff like that. Um, they have a lot of like uh, native Texan plants, which is cool. However, um, they aren't like the prettiest plants, at least in my opinion. However, I do go there occasionally um, and I like going there. So if you want to check it out, I recommend it. However, if you have to cut something out, then I would cut that out. And then I kayaked on Town Lake. I highly recommend doing that activity. I think if you could only do one thing in Austin, I would walk the trail and then kayak or do one of those activities on the water because I feel like that gives you a like idea of what Austin is. Like Austin is very outdoors um, and like health centric. So, um, and then just like walking the trail, you kind of see some spots around Austin. So it kind of gives you a feel for the city. So if you could only do one activity, I would recommend that. So then I went home and got ready for the day and then I went to the Blanton Museum of Art. My admission was free, however, when I was scheduling my um, intertime on the website, which is the new thing that they're doing, um, I did see that some days it's $12. I couldn't quite figure out the pattern between when it was free and when they charge money. However, uh, even if you do have to pay $12, I do recommend going. Um, I've always loved going there. I go there ever so often. And they're pretty good about switching out the like exhibits, so you do see different art when you go there. And then I walked to the UT area afterward. I almost walked to the Capitol as well because that's such a pretty building, but it's closed right now, so I didn't go to that. Um, but it is right by the Blanton. You can actually see it from the Blanton. So um, I think that would be a good thing to do at the same time. And then I would pick the Capitol over UT if you had to pick one. However, if you want to do both, the UT is nice to walk around. Um, I just kind of walked around the central area and then I walked up and down the drag where there are some shops and I stopped to get boba tea. So if you're coming to visit Austin, this is what I recommend doing. These activities are ones I do as a local already, so I feel like they give you the best idea of what it's like to live in Austin, Texas. If you decide you want to move to Austin, Texas, comment below or you can email me at briabone at kw.com. I would love to help you find and buy your dream home in Austin, Texas. So if you like this video, comment a cat emoji. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.